name Namibia is coined from the Namib Desert in the western part of the country. Combined with the Kalahari Desert in the east, this gives Namibia the distinction of being the driest country in southern Africa, as more than 80% of the country is desert or semi-desert. This means Namibians have to be quite innovative when it comes to clean water. The city of Vintuk is the only city in the world that recycles water for human consumption on large scale. But water from Vintuk's northern industrial area is way too expensive to recycle. But now, the city of Vintuk, in conjunction with a private investor, has embarked on an ambitious water reclamation project specifically for industrial wastewater. Water reclamation is a process by which wastewater from homes and businesses is cleaned using biological and chemical treatment. Vintu currently has three water reclamation projects running. The old Koryonghap Dam reclamation plant which has been running since 1959 but now its water is only used for irrigation. The new Koryonghap Dam reclamation plant which produces water for human consumption and the Uyams pilot wastewater treatment plant. We are at the city of Vintuk where we are speaking to Mr. Pete Dupisani, Strategic Executive for Infrastructure, Water and Waste Management. Mr. Dupisani, thank you for speaking to One Africa today. It's a pleasure. Mr. Dupisani, why does the city of Vintuk need a project like the Uyams water project? Um, the Uyams is the treatment plant for all industrial effluent uh, generated in the city. The current plant is hopelessly outdated and we are testing new uh, and advanced infrastructure to deal with the, with the type of loads that we receive uh, in the industrial effluent. The pilot project is being run by Vintu Koryanghap Operation Company, Wincog, which tended for the project amongst stiff competition. The shareholders in Wincog are a French company called Viola, an Austrian company called Wabag, and a German company called Berlin Wasser. Wincog is already tasked with running the new Koryanghap plant and is utilizing relatively new technology at its Uyams pilot plant. We officially started in April running the test when the plant arrived and put it together and so we've been running since then. The plant is doing as is expected so we are quite happy with that. Obviously we also get some surprises and that's why we're doing the pilot plant. Um, also the important thing is the pilot plant is to prove that what we have bidded um, in terms of the big project or the final plant uh, that we show that our technology works. According to the new uh, water laws, we have to produce a effluent quality that is uh, complying, and that's why this project is started. The, the existing ponds that is there cannot do the job anymore. Vintuk's water supply is based on the use of surface and groundwater. However, the supply from these sources cannot be guaranteed for the future and the city is working on a number of innovative options to secure the city's water for the foreseeable future. We're thinking of, obviously, the amount that we, the design capacity is about 4, 000, 4 million liters a day. That will be utilized, but I don't think that the city will utilize it immediately. The area that's going to use that water is going to be the northern part, that's Prakwat and so on. Um, the current reclamation plant that's producing irrigation water is more to the southern and the central parts. So in terms of location, it's going to be going for the northern industrial area and the northern parts of the city. So they're going to use the water on that side. I am standing at the Uyams pilot water treatment plant just outside Vintuk. This specific pilot plant is treating industrial effluent from Vintuk's northern industrial area. The treated water will be used for irrigation purposes only, specifically in Vintuk's northern suburbs and the Brakwater area. The verdict on the pilot plant should be out by this December.